From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, April 23rd, 2014. And leading our news, Fairbanks police are asking for the public's assistance in locating an unidentified suspect who broke into the Bentley Mall early yesterday morning. This image on your screen was taken from the actual surveillance footage. According to the city of Fairbanks, the sunglasses store inside the mall was burglarized. Value of the stolen items is still being calculated and roughly $1,000 worth of damage was done to the mall. Fairbanks police asked that anyone with information phone them at 450-6500. Not guilty pleas yesterday for a Fairbanks man accused of sexually abusing a minor. 56-year-old Bobby Nashukpuk was indicted on 10 counts. According to court documents, the abuse began in September of 2005 and continued through December of 2013. Nashukpuk was also accused of attempting to exploit the alleged victim by making pornography from August to December of 2013. Not guilty pleas yesterday for another man accused of sexual abuse of a minor. 36-year-old Bradley McGinty is charged with sexual abuse of a minor in the second and third degrees. According to the indictment, Stewart allegedly abused the victim aged 13, 14, or maybe 15 in October of 2013 in Caltag. And a bail hearing has been rescheduled in the case of a Fairbanks teen accused of participating in a robbery and shooting at Wedgwood Manor earlier this year. The attorney for 16-year-old Chester Fields requested he be released to a juvenile detention center in Palmer to await court proceedings in connection with another case. Both the state and the judge objected. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, mostly sunny, highs in the lower to mid-50s. Tonight, partly cloudy, lows in the low to mid-30s. Tomorrow, increasing clouds, maybe some rain showers in the afternoon. Highs in the lower to mid-50s. Extended forecast, a few more showers Friday, then variable clouds into next week with highs staying in the 50s. And the aurora forecast, if you're up late, is moderate. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Remember, for more news, sports, or weather, download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about CPR and enjoy your day.